Welcome to the Sunshadow Archives. I'm Sasha, the master dice maker behind Sunshadow Arts, and welcome to one of my making of videos. In this video, I'm going to show you the process for how I made my consume dice. This die is inspired by the character of Ford from Critical Role, created by the amazing Travis Willingham and Matthew Mercer, of course. Critical Role greatness. Um, so I hope you enjoy this peek behind the curtain at how I made consume. For the consume die, the first thing that I have to do is create the eyeball for the die. And I did this by layering multiple different eyeball images together in Photoshop and then manipulating the colors. One thing I'd like to point out here in this particular image, you can see it very clearly that the eyeball itself it, the image that I created is significantly darker than how it appears in the finished piece. Now, one thing that you have to remember is that the, especially if you're using a D20, all of the facets of the D20 will focus the light right into the center of that die. So it's almost like shining a giant spotlight onto the inside of the die. So if you're putting something inside of a D20 especially, it will appear lighter than it does outside of the die, simply because of the way that the light is cast into the die. So I made my initial eyeball image much darker and much greener because in the finished die, it ends up looking the color that I want it to look. I did, a, it was a lot of back and forth, a lot of experimentation, because using just a straight yellow eye just made it look washed out and weird actually inside of the die. So that's just a quick tip for dice makers out there that you always want to make your image darker because it will appear lighter inside of the die. Once I had my finalized eyeball design, I had it printed onto vinyl stickers by a third party printing company. Then I created the Ford silhouette again in Photoshop, and I cut it out of vinyl using a surcut cutting machine that I happen to have already. And this is the kind of vinyl that I used. It's this brushed vinyl in black. And the reason that I picked this particular vinyl is because as you can see, it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. And it also has this kind of like striated texture. So it just makes the vinyl a little bit more interesting than something that's just flat black. And you can see here, if you look closely at the Ford silhouette within this die here, you can see the little bit of sparkliness at, that it catches the light. Just gives it a extra little something something that I really like. And then I layer the stickers on top of each other with a piece of clear resin in between. And that kind of holds everything in place exactly how I want it in the die. And to make the ocean part of the dye, I use this Just Resin pig Pigment Paste in Midnight Blue. This is my absolute favorite pigment of all time. Look at how dark it is. Look at how shimmery and deep. It's just the greatest blue. And then I just cast it into these half sphere molds that I made myself that are just the right size. And then once those cure, you can just stick the eyeball sticker right onto that half sphere. And then I stick the little Ford silhouette sticker onto just this clear resin disc. And then when you layer them together, it will hold the Ford silhouette right in the right place in front of the eyeball. And then I can stick it into my die. Now in this particular set of molds, the 20 is on the side of the dice mold. So I put the inserts in just like this, facing the D20 so that the eyeball faces the D20. Then I fill the mold with clear resin. Now, one thing that is not shown in this video is that I tend to fill the mold halfway, and then I use a pin through the sprue hole to kind of manipulate and push the eyeball and the figure around till I get them right where I want them. Every once in a while, they'll still migrate during the curing process, but for the most part, they tend to come out pretty well lined on the 20. And when you demold it, you've got that beautiful looking consumed eye. 
Well, thanks for watching my video of the making of Consume. And just a fun fact about the Consume die, right after I released my first version of Consume, Travis from Critical Role actually reached out to me and ordered one of the dice and he rolls it on the show as forward. It's pretty fun. He's actually scored some awesome nat 20s using that Consume die that has been, uh, has been nicknamed the Ukatoa die, um, of course, in honor of Ukatoa. So if you ever hear the cast referring to the Ukotoa die on uh, Critical Role, that's the die that they're talking about. Um, if you want to check out more of these types of videos, get more behind the scenes action, I have a Patreon where I share. I mean, patrons get first view of all of these types of videos. They sometimes get more elaborate videos than what gets shown to the public and the public gets shown edited down videos. So if you want to see the full videos, become a patron. I also do a lot of fun stuff like I give away free dice every month and uh, my patrons help me design dice and it's, it's a great fun. So consider becoming a patron if you really enjoyed this program and take a look around my YouTube channel because I have a lot more making of videos on the way. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be sure to check out other videos on the Ask the Dice Maker channel. Want to learn how to make your very own resin dice? Take a peek at my dice making classes on my website at sunshadowarts.com or on Patreon. And if you want to connect, you can always find me on Twitter and Instagram at sunshadowarts.